What's up guys, Roman over here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to use the last Photoshop AI and we are going to convert five portraits images into a landscape images. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Right, so we're gonna have uh, five different images today. Right? They are all pictures from my, my previous uh, travels. So the first one was taken in the uh, Philippines in a city called uh, Baguio. And to convert this image into a landscape is actually very easy. So we're just gonna double click on the layer first and then we're gonna click right and we're gonna duplicate this layer. When you've done this, you're gonna go on the crop tool on the, on the left side, and we're gonna just extend it a little bit, and you're gonna extend it a little bit more on the left, then a little bit more. Then we're gonna click on the select tool over here, and you're gonna select the left side, then you're gonna click on shift, and you're gonna select the right side. From here, you're gonna click right, and we're gonna click on generative fear. You're not gonna write anything, you're just gonna click on generate and let the AI do its job. It takes roughly 15 seconds, maybe less. If you've been to Philippines, or if you're from Philippines, you can say hi. <laughs> and look at these guys from portrait photography to landscape photography. So if you go on the right side as well, you're gonna get a few options. So this is option number one. We have option number two. So the woman is a little bit more hidden behind the wall. I like it like this as well. And this is option number three. I think I like option number two better but you can also let me know what you think in the comments below. I will leave it to number two. We're now gonna carry on with image uh, number two. And this uh, photo was taken in uh, Laos. This photo was taken in uh, 2008 in a city called uh, Van Dien. So we're gonna do exactly the same. We're gonna double click on your layer. You're gonna click right. You're gonna go to duplicate layer and we're gonna click on okay then you're gonna go to the crop tool on the right side we're gonna extend this image a little bit on the right extend it a little bit more on the left and we're gonna click on the select tool and we're gonna do exactly the same click shift to select the left side as well and we click right one more time and generative fill we wait roughly 15 seconds. If you've been to Laos, you can let me know on the comment below. Same if you're from Laos, say hi to me. I would love to hear from you. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. Let's see what they offer as well. I like number one better. I like number one better. Which one do you like guys? Number one? number two or number three i will stay with number one i think the background on the on the right side is much better on the first image so let's carry on with image uh, number three you may know this uh, image if you have a windows computer is the the background of your of your image of your laptop sorry and this photo was taken in um, Fakateri Beach. It's on, in the in South Island of uh, New Zealand, and it's it's really stunning. It's really 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 beautiful. So double click on your uh, layer, click right, duplicate your layer, click OK, and we're gonna go on the crop tool over here. I have a landscape photos of this image. I really want to see if uh, if it's gonna be the same. I extend it a little bit more. I would like to see a, a panorama of this photo. Let's see how far 
the AI can go. This is quite big, big landscape photo. So we're gonna select the select tool over here. And don't forget to click shift, otherwise you can't select both sides at the same time. And click right, generate a fill, and don't write anything and click on generate. I love the mirror effect on the on the rocks. Be patient, 10 seconds, 15 seconds to generate. And come on, you can do it. I haven't done it before too. Wow, that's cool. I haven't done this before. Wow, I'm impressed. Wow, that's cool. That's really, really cool, man. Let's see number two, what it has to offer. Nah, it was not like this. It was more like the number one. Wow, but it's still cool. And number three, now I prefer it empty. What you reckon guys? Number one, I love number one. Number one, number two, takes a little bit longer, I think the image is louder. Or number three. All right guys, before we continue, if you want to see more videos like this, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so we have two more images to, uh, to go. We have this image that was taken in Kyrgyzstan and this image that was taken in Thailand. Let's start with Kyrgyzstan. It's a lake. I, wouldn't, I cannot remember exactly where, where it was. I was uh, cycling in, in Kyrgyzstan uh, back in 2015. I actually started in Mongolia and we cycled me and my friend from Mongolia to China to Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and we end up on the Pamir Highway in Tajikistan. So we're gonna double click, we're gonna open this layer over here. You're gonna click right, click on duplicate layer. Then we're gonna go to the crop tool, we're gonna extend it. I wanna do exactly the same as the, the, the photos in New Zealand. I wanna see how far the AI can go. And we're gonna click on the select tool over here. We're gonna start with the right side. Well, sorry, right side. Come on, select. Oh, sorry, it doesn't want to select. Maybe I took too much. Oh, okay, like this. Right side, then click shift, left side. Then we're gonna click right and generate your fill. Don't write anything, click on generate. Let's see what the AI has to offer. Yeah, I didn't select the photo properly, but you can fix it. If you can go back to the, the select tool, if it happened to you and you select it again and you just click on generative fill again. Just wait a little while. So here comes the last uh, photo of the day. This photo was taken in Bangkok in, in, in Thailand. So obviously I edit the, the photo. I like this, uh, this kind of editing when you have colors and, uh, and black and white. If you like it as well, you can let me know in the, in the comment below. So once again, double click on your layer, click right, duplicate your layer, click OK. We're gonna go to the crop tool over here and we're gonna extend this photo. I'm not gonna extend it that much on this one. I just want a, a normal, uh, normal photos, I think. It's pretty much right. Select the left side first. And we're gonna select the 
right side as well and you're gonna click right click on generate a field we don't write anything and we click on generate nice 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 let's see the option this is number two and he recreate the some yellow as well on the that's pretty cool and some yellows at the back and number three i love number two i love number two because you recreate what i already done on the on the first image and i love it all right guys so i hope that you have enjoyed this uh, little video and if you have not subscribed yet and if you want to see more of this kind of videos do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. See you on the next video, guys. Bye.